Well, the mother says she'll make some changes after two children in her care are found wandering along a busy street. Police charge Jessica Fry with child endangering. Thanks for joining us at 11. I'm Jerry Revish. And I'm Kristen Hartman. Someone saw one of the babies walking back and forth across the road in nothing but a diaper. 10 TV's Ashley Berry joins us live from the newsroom. And Ashley, where is Fry's child tonight? Well, that child is with a relative, the mother charged with two counts of child endangering. We spent some time out in the neighborhood tonight where there's a lot of children and a lot of traffic. So it's safe to say this really could have ended tragically. On any given day and at any given time, families who live along Pearl Street and Marion say drivers need to slow down. But on Wednesday morning, Randy Sanderson says it wasn't the speeding cars that caught his attention. It was a baby wearing only a diaper alone in the road. He was crossing the street by himself and I kind of stood there for, for a few minutes to see if there was an adult around and it wasn't. Sanderson says the situation intensified when he saw a little girl emerge from his neighbor's home, again, all alone. She started to dart out into the street as well. Sanderson says he took both children by the hand and called police. Turns out this woman, 20-year-old Jessica Fry, was asleep in an upstairs bedroom. She spent three days in jail on two counts of child endangering and was released tonight. Hey, Jessica, can we talk to you for a moment, please? Can you tell me what happened Wednesday? Well, like I told them, my kid was asleep. My niece was asleep. I wake up to the cops and children's services. Fry admitted to being at fault and said the front door is easy to open. She says she plans to install childproof locks. My kid's staying inside from now on and the cops and children's services ain't coming back here again. Her neighbor says he's just grateful he had his morning coffee on the front porch that day. It could have been a disaster. I think there was an angel watching over the child, I think. So not me, but somebody was. Fry must also answer to Children's Services in two weeks before she has any chance of getting her son back. And she also tells us she's on probation and has certainly learned her lesson. Live in the newsroom, Ashley Berry, 10TV News.